Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to increase the size of a virtual machine's hard disk. So let's get started. Just a quick note before we get started, this method will only work if your virtual machine's disk is a VDI or VHD and was created to be dynamically allocated and not fixed size. If you want to find out a way to do this with a fixed size disk or with any of the other formats, then check out the description below and I'll throw in a link to a tutorial that will show you how to do that. But let's just get started with this tutorial now. So the first step that we need to take is make sure that the virtual machine is highlighted over here. So the one that we want to increase its disk size and go on over to storage. And if you just click on the disk here, which is under your controller in the storage tree, you can see that you get the information for the disk in the right hand side. So if I just increase the size of this so you can see it a bit better, just do it a little bit more. The information that we're interested in is the type. So this is a VDI, which is fine. And under details, you can see it says it's dynamically allocated, which is exactly what we're looking for. And we need the location of our disk. So we can just click on the location here to get the path for our disk and just right click and copy because we're going to need that later. And then just go back into the left pane and select your disk and click this minus here. So we're going to take that disk, basically unplug that disk from our virtual machine and just click OK. And what we're going to do now is close down VirtualBox. So let's just open up a terminal and let's just CD over to where our disk is. So I just put in some quotes because I knew that there were some special characters in that path. So you can just use Control Shift V to paste that in. And we're just gonna take off the actual disk over there at the end because we want the parent folder for the disk. And hit enter and if we just do an ls-la, you can see that our disk is here. So it's this one over here. Now I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so it's easier for you guys to see. And I'm also just going to shorten my prompt actually. It's just easier for you guys to see. So export uh, PS1 equals. There we go, let's change it to that. Okay, so let's just clear that and ls-la again. Now to make a backup of our disk, all we need to do is make a copy of this VDI file here. So if I just type in CP and let's just use autocomplete and VDI, let's just copy that to ubuntu.backup.vdi. Oops, VDI, there we go. Now this is probably gonna take a few minutes because it's these files are generally quite large, so I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so I've now finished making a backup of my virtual hard disk so let's just let's just clear that and ls dash la and you can see the backup is over here so the next step is to actually enlarge the size of the disk so to do that all we need to do is type in vbox manage and what we want to do is to modify so modify hd and then we need to enter the name of our vdi disk so Ubuntu uh, 12, there we go, VDI. And the operation that we want to perform is to resize. So double dash resize. Now there's just a couple of things that we need to bear in mind when we're doing this. And that is that we cannot make our disk smaller. So we can't shrink it down using this method. The other thing that you need to bear in mind is you need to specify the new size in megabytes. So if you remember, my disk was about 16 gigabytes ish so let's make the new size 30 gigabytes so that will be about 30,000 megabytes and that's it all we need to do is hit enter and that's done it's now resized our virtual disk so now that our virtual disk has actually been increased in size we need to make some changes to our virtual machine so the best way to think about this is what we've actually done is we've kind of increased the surrounding container around our virtual machine and we need to change our virtual machines internals slightly to expand it so it can make use of this new space so if we go ahead and open up VirtualBox now 
what we're going to do is make sure our virtual machine is highlighted and go into storage and we're going to click on our controller so mine is this SATA controller here and we need to add a hard disk and we're going to choose existing and we're going to select the disk that we've just resized which is this one over here and if we click open and then just click on it you can see that the new virtual size is 29.30 gigabytes now what we need to do is we need to use some kind of tool to modify our disks partitions so we need something to expand our operating system out so it can use the newly available space on our disk so to do that what I'm going to do is use a tool called gparted and I know that that comes with Ubuntu so I'm just going to click on empty in the storage tree and I'm going to choose a virtual disk and just select this image over here so that's Ubuntu 1204.3 and click open and then just click OK so what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot this virtual machine with this live version of Ubuntu and this disk is attached to that machine so I'm going to use gparted to modify the partitions for this operating system and expand it out to use the whole disk so if I just click start now and I'll come back when it's finished booting okay so my virtual machine has finished booting and as you can see it's a live version of Ubuntu so I'm just going to open up gparted and as you can see our disk is 29.30 gigabytes now which is what we resized it to but we've got all of this unallocated space over here so what we need to do is expand this partition over here which is our operating system to use up all of this space now if you notice in the middle we've got our Linux swap partition over here and that's kind of blocking us from increasing this size so what we need to do is delete this now as you can see these two keys over here symbolize that these are locked so if I just right click on this you can see that I can't delete it now what we need to do is just right click and turn swap off so now that swaps off I can delete it but before I do that I'm just going to have a look at the size over here and just make a mental note that I need to recreate it again and it needs to be two gigabytes so just make sure you bear that in mind before you delete it so let's just delete that and we need to delete this extended partition here and now we're free to resize our operating system so if you just right click on this and click resize stroke move you can just drag this out and just remember to leave about two gigabytes in free space following over here or however big your swap partition was so let's just try and get that's close enough and then just click resize stroke move now to recreate our swap partition what we need to do is click on the available unallocated space right click on that and click new and we need to create an extended partition and just click add and then select unallocated below that and right click and click new again and it's going to be a logical partition that we need and underneath file system you need to just change that to Linux swap and click add and that's it that's all done so if we just click the green tick and click apply in a few seconds you'll see that it should complete successfully so there we go and we can close that now and just exit that and that's it we've now increased the size of our virtual machines hard disk so I hope you found this tutorial useful if you did please don't forget to subscribe you can also follow Linux Leech on Facebook Twitter and Google Plus links are on the screen now and thanks for watching goodbye